There are some amazing fashion trends heading our way this year and there really is something for everyone. So if you'd like to see the trends that are set to be huge in 2024, then just keep watching. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. Now, you know I like trend forecasting and giving you guys a heads up on what's going to be in fashion. And this video is no different, except I'm hoping that you will gain a little bit of inspiration from this video to put together some different outfits from some of the clothes that you already own because I'm sure you will see that some of these trends are probably already hanging in your closet. And I think that's what inspires me the most about following the trends. It's not about having to buy new and always update my wardrobe, but it's about taking inspiration from those trends and using them to re-look at the clothes I already own and perhaps come up with some different combinations. So I'm hoping that today's video will help you do exactly that. Now this first trend I'm calling Hooked on Classics because as you probably already know, there's been a real return to classic dressing, real solid basic pieces, good quality tailoring, and just simple outfits with a little bit of a sophisticated, elegant edge. I do like classics and I do like a minimalistic style of dressing. So if that is you, then get excited because that's very much a happening look that's continuing this year. Now, as I said, we have seen this look over the past couple of years, but it's safe to say it's not going anywhere. Now, that doesn't mean that there's not going to be statement pieces and statement outfits, and I will touch on a few of them shortly, but what it does mean is classic dressing is here to stay. It is gaining momentum, that simplicity and elegance of a classic style of dressing is most definitely not going anywhere. Now this next trend is a little bit of an interesting one for me because it is a satin trench coat and we've seen satin skirts and we've also seen traditional classic trenches over the last few seasons and it seems as though they have kind of morphed into a new style which is the satin trench. Now I love the look of these satin style trenches. They're a little bit more elegant, they're a little bit more formal Normal than a classic Burberry style trench and I suppose that's what I like about them. I also like the fact that you can still wear them more casually and it just elevates some of those casual outfits. They also seem to be coming in some different colors rather than the traditional neutrals that you would see in a classic trench. So keep an eye out for these satin trenches and I think that they, they are as versatile as a classic but perhaps just adding a little bit more interest and a little bit more fun to your outfit. Now another trend that we have seen a lot of over the last couple of seasons are sets and matching sets are not going anywhere. In fact, they're almost being a little elevated. So I'm kind of calling them statement sets. So what you can expect to see is just some added embellishment and detailing. So things like fringing, applique, diamantes, just a little bit of elevation to the classic sets. And I think we've mostly seen sets in basic suiting and also kind of spring resort wear style short sets. But what we are going to see in the next few months are definitely more statement sets and sets that are a little bit more formal. Not necessarily meaning that they will need to be worn that way, but they are just a little bit more fancy with a few of those details making them just that little bit more elevated. And again, I love sets. I love the fact that you've got a one and done outfit with a set. If you are running late, you don't know what to wear, grab a set and you're good to go. Also, you get the versatility of wearing those pieces separately and creating other outfits. So take a look out for, or keep an eye out for some of these slightly elevated matching sets. I've also seen some beautiful denim sets too with really interesting rivet details and top stitching. So keep an eye out for them. And at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. I have a Squarespace blog, which I absolutely love and have some exciting plans to update this year. But Squarespace, in my opinion, is the easiest way to build any sort of online presence. In fact, I've built a number of websites for clients over the years 
And the reason that I use Squarespace is because it is so simple to use. You don't need to have any tech smarts. You really don't need to know much because everything is right there for you all in one place. There are some amazing templates available. So you can grab a template that you like the look of and within a very short space of time, you have a website. You can also sell products on your Squarespace website. You can email your subscribers. You can do just about anything. I can also add my YouTube YouTube videos to my Squarespace blog, which I absolutely love. So I am delighted today to say that the team at Squarespace are offering you a 10% discount off your first website or domain with Squarespace. All you need to do is whip on over to Squarespace dot com I got tongue-tied then squarespace.com take advantage of their free trial and when you're ready to push play simply use my unique URL which is squarespace.com forward slash the style insider and my code which is the style insider and that as I said will give you 10% off your first website or domain with Squarespace so if you're looking to launch yourself online this year then I can definitely recommend Squarespace as the easiest and most effective way to do it now next up this one is going Going to be popular with all of those Abercrombie fans out there and that is preppy styling and we're looking at a little bit more of a paired back kind of preppy style so just a little bit less predictable, a little bit less Y2K than we have seen. So Miu Miu sort of have reinvigorated the trend, but brands like Belly and Todd's are definitely giving a nod to the trend without taking it too far, which is something that I always like. I like giving a nod to trends, but I don't like generally wearing an extreme version of them. So think polo shirts, um, pleated skirts, I'm trying to think sort of preppy little socks and trainers, very much a preppy loafers, yeah very much a preppy vibe but it's as I said a little bit pared back so far easier to wear. Now I've talked in some of my recent videos about our waists kind of being more on show this year and with that comes the return of lots of interesting belts and we're not just seeing the sort of the classic slim line minimalist style belts. Belts are back and in a really big way. Everything from thick, thick belts with sort of chunky buckles to tie belts to chain belts. There really is something for everyone. And for me, I kind of stopped wearing belts for a while there, but I'm actually really enjoying the idea of Going back into wearing belts, I tend to find that they just add a really interesting element to an outfit. And I love the idea that I can wear some of my slightly oversized pieces like my boyfriend style blazers and belt them in for a completely different look and feel to an outfit. So don't underestimate the power of a good belt and how adding a belt to an outfit and giving yourself a waist or changing your silhouette a little bit can just transform a outfit and really create something pretty magical. Now this year there's also going to be a bit of a trend for what I'm calling opposites attract. And that is a style of dressing that I tend to do quite a bit anyway and it's a style that I really like and it's basically pairing unexpected pieces together. So perhaps teaming a sweat top with a leather pencil skirt or even a little Chanel-esque style cardigan with a pair of cargo style jeans. Just mixing kind of high-low and also unexpected pieces together to create an interesting outfit. Now don't get me wrong, I love a seamless outfit that is perhaps more predictable, but I also love when you combine unexpected pieces together to create an interesting outfit. And it did appear that designers were doing this quite a bit on the runway. So it's only a matter of time until that sort of trickles down into every day. And so expect to see that more. As I said, it's music to my ears because it's a style of dressing that I particularly like myself. And it just means that I'll get more inspiration to look and mix and match some of the pieces that I own a little bit differently in ways that I hadn't thought about before. So just think about some of these trends as a guideline for you to do the same. Now we've seen a lot of black coming back into fashion because we sort of moved away from that a little bit and the focus was more on colors and neutrals, but there has been quite a bit of black 
dressing and I'm here for it. I love wearing black and all black top to toe. But what one of the trends is that's happening this year is white dresses and white dresses in all sorts of different incantations, all sorts of different variations. So there are some beautiful transparent silky fabrics and there are also some lovely crocheted style dresses. Most of the white dresses that I've seen are maxi. They're definitely a fuller length. So I can see that this is going to be a big trend happening for spring. So that's probably just something to think about in the near future that is just around the corner. And these lovely white dresses are, in my opinion, they're fresh, they're feminine and just easy breezy styling. Okay, there's been lots and lots of talk of low rise and the return of low rise pants and it seems to really have been quashed and I'm not mad about that because waists are rising. So there are some super high rise pants and skirts that have been shown on the runways. I know that you'll look at some of these images and think that these are sort of high end fashion, but what does tend to happen is that high street designers will take inspiration from what they see on the runways and create those everyday looks for us. So there are a lot of high rise, high waisted pants coming back, even paper bag style pants. And again, I'm not mad about this look. I think it can be really flattering. You do have to be careful depending on your body type as to how well they work for you. Obviously, if you are short waisted, this is going to be a tricky trend to wear. But if you're not, then high waist, in my opinion, always gives the illusion of longer legs. It can be slimming. But yeah, just Proceed with caution if you tend to be more short-waisted. It can just overwhelm you and be a really tricky trend to wear, but high, high-rise waists are coming back. One of the other trends that I think is really interesting, and in my mind, it's a return to putting the spotlight on fashion designers and the importance of designers, especially now that we live in a sort of an AI-dominated world. But there is a real return to sort of architectural style dressing. And only that can be created by designers that know how fabric moves and use their experience to create designs that show off and make your body look great while also playing into the beauty of the fabric as well. So there are lots of these kind of architecturally inspired pieces that have been shown. And of course, we will see more of a paired back version of that in every day. But I do think that some of these architectural style pieces uh, are great because you can keep them and wear them for years to come. There is a New Zealand designer called Zambezi that cr has always created these beautiful architectural pieces and sometimes you're in the changing room you don't even know where to start to to put them on but they are pieces that are absolutely timeless and it doesn't matter when you bought them you can still pull them out and wear them many years later and still look current and fashion forward and that's probably the the reason that I really do find some of these architectural style designs especially exciting. Now roses seem to reign supreme on the runways this year so we can expect to see roses in all sorts of forms from the Sex in the City Carrie Bradshaw style rosettes to rose printed fabrics and dresses with rose motifs. I think it's a really romantic and interesting addition to a trend. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to buy into this trend or even if I will buy into this trend, but I love the fact that it's it's fun, it's flirty, adorning our clothes with beautiful accessories like a rosette is something that's just a little bit of fun. I know it's frivolous, but it is just adding a bit of fun. And for me, it is reminiscent of those Sex in the City days and Carrie Bradshaw and just having fun with fashion again. So roses are red and happening in fashion this year. So yeah, keep an eye out for them. And yeah, let me know in the comments below. Do you like this trend? Do you see yourself wearing a rosette, whether it's a sort of a corsage style rosette around your neck or your wrist or in your hair? 
or are you a rose type person that you would see yourself buying into some rose printed fabrics? Let me know in the comments below. I could definitely dip my toe in, but I'm not quite sure where yet. And this trend is kind of in the same vein, but it is a trend for wearing feather and bird style detailing. And again, this is just sort of a fun, whimsical trend and Feathers obviously on the runway were shown in an extreme fashion with kind of feathered um, Victoria's Secret style wings on some of the shows, on some of the models. But feather detailing as little accents or to highlight a hemline or to highlight little sleeve details I think can be really fun and soft and feminine. I think that there's probably only so far you can go with these feathers but I love the fact that it's also sort of tied into a little bit of a, a bird motif as well. So I'm definitely here for that. I'm a huge fan of the local tuis here in New Zealand. I'm becoming a little bit of a bird watcher in my old age and enjoying watching and taking notice of some of the bird life in and around my home. But yeah, just further detailing is definitely here and expect to see more of it as the year goes on. I know we did see a little bit of it towards the end of last year, but that is something that is continuing on this year. So if it's your jam, then start getting excited. Now, if there was one color that defined 2023, that would have to be Barbie pink. And I've talked in some recent videos that Barbie pink, certainly top to toe is, moving aside and it's actually being replaced by some beautiful bright primary colors. I don't know what I was going to say then. <laughs> so think cobalt blues, which I'm a real fan of, bright sunny yellows. So those kind of really bright primary colors are going to have a moment in the spotlight this year. So I love teaming them back with a little bit of white as an accent. Denim is gr a great way to wear some of these primary colors. I've also seen them paired back quite successfully with black. I'm not a huge fan of pairing brights and blacks, but I tend to think the black is just a little bit heavy. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm kind of interested to, interested to find out whether you think that this is a good pairing or not. It's, I'm on the fence about it, but I think some of these beautiful bright primary colors are a great addition to our color lineup this year. Now you know the key trends heading our way this year. Why not check out the most wearable trends for 2024? Simply click or tap on the screen here and I will see you there.